The Bermuda High School has been in existence for over 120 years and we have led the way from our inception. This is a logical next step in leading the way for Bermuda by opening up the BHS Innovation Center. We will be the first school in Bermuda to have a formal STEAM program that is running in our school from primary right on through to graduation. That BHS is investing in innovation and creativity should come as no surprise to anyone because this school is an academic leader in Bermuda. But this is not only an incredible opportunity for current and future students, it's a revolution that will change the future of Bermuda. It's about discovering that subjects and disciplines are not just boxes that are taught, but if you teach it in the STEAM framework, you can really learn that all these subjects and all these topics that they are learning about actually are just one. They are you know, skills for learning, discovering, solving problems, and so on. In the Innovation Center, we will have five science labs, a robotics lab, a digital media library, a makerspace, uh, a, a fab lab, open collaborative learning and teaching areas. Imagine being able to give them opportunities to go off and work in a space that is not their classroom, which also has their desks in the way, their, their books and everything else that's in the classroom, but a nice open airy space where they can just be creative. It's important for students to have a space that can change and evolve right with them, whether that be the facility itself, the space itself, the subjects itself. So we have to be able to be adaptable and changeable. I think STEAM really represents where each of our businesses are going having those strong technical skills, those mathematical skills, and the ability really to express oneself, which I love the inclusion of the arts within the STEAM project that you're working on. The students will try different things in the art subjects and not be frightened of getting it wrong, because there isn't always a right or a wrong answer, and you can try different things. If it, if it doesn't quite work, well, we'll try it again, and, and they can be more creative and more imaginative and work with, with themselves, with other people, and just expand their ideas. I was really lucky as a young girl that I had the opportunity to travel abroad and take a marine science class at the age of 13 and that really instilled in me this desire to ask questions and to explore nature in more depth and I think that's one of the most important steps to creating female scientists is giving them the encouragement and the background to know that they can pursue this as a career and they can be very successful, just as successful as their male counterparts. I enjoy math, accounts, and biology because they are challenging but they're also fun at the same time and I'm really a mathematically orientated person. My favorite subject is probably between math and chemistry because I really like how you can learn things in the classroom and it really relates to real life and it really can reflect the world around you and the rigor involved just really excites me and challenges me. I've just always loved IT and I like the idea of doing science. Right now we're dissecting a computer and we're learning about CPU and RAM and right now we're comparing the new um, Samsung phone to the new Apple phone. Well, one day here at BHS we had a speaker who was an environmental engineer and she said how oh, she was going to become a chemical engineer first. And when she was describing what a chem chemical engineer does, I said, well, that sounds pretty interesting. And considering I love chemistry so much, I said, well, maybe I would love to get into a field like that. It would be really cool maybe to take control over a large telescope like Hubble or maybe an observatory and like aim it somewhere in the sky, conduct an experiment, contribute to science. When I studied physics, we were about 60% male, 40% female. It was clear then, as it is in any workplace, I think that the more diversity, the more different ideas and the better solutions we'll get, the faster we'll get to better solutions. Giving to the Leading the Way campaign at BHS is giving back to Bermuda. It's creating a legacy of pedagogy, of education, of really uh, you know, inspiring our youth and creating the next generation of big thinkers and uh, you know, people that will contribute back to our society at large. I can't think of a, a more meaningful way to give forward, to be honest with you, is to give back to education and give forward to education. And this Innovation Center is a huge leap forward, in my opinion. 
Uh, whether you're a young alum, uh, an older alum with daughters or granddaughters at the school or even grandsons, um, you know, it's, it's important to contribute in some fashion and it can be small, it can be large, um, but it always makes uh, a difference in terms of what the school can do. I have a vested interest as an alumna. I want to give back to the school that gave to me. As an educator, I want to create and be part of an environment that is going to be here for generations to come. Each of us have a duty to look long term. You know, we want to make sure that the school is not only the best today, but the best in future. I think it's very important to reinvest in our community. I look at it as those that gave before have provided the facilities for my girls to succeed with, and I look forward to investing into the STEAM program for the generations to come. Imagine a future where the sky is the limit, where women's ideas are creative and unending. Now that is a future worth investing in. The Bermuda High School has been in existence for over 120 years and we have led the way from our inception. This is a logical next step in leading the way for Bermuda by opening up the BHS Innovation Center. We will be the first school in Bermuda to have a formal STEAM program that is running in our school from primary right on through to graduation. That BHS is investing in innovation and creativity should come as no surprise to anyone because this school is an academic leader in Bermuda. But this is not only an incredible opportunity for current and future students, it's a revolution that will change the future of Bermuda. It's about discovering that subjects and disciplines are not just boxes that are taught, but if you teach it in the STEAM framework, you can really learn that all these subjects and all these topics that they are learning about actually are just one. They are you know, skills for learning, discovering, solving problems, and so on. In the Innovation Center, we will have five science labs, a robotics lab, a digital media library, a makerspace, uh, a, a fab lab, open collaborative learning and teaching areas, Imagine being able to give them opportunities to go off and work in a space that is not their classroom, which also has their desks in the way, their, their books, and everything else that's in the classroom, but a nice, open, airy space where they can just be creative. It's important for students to have a space that can change and evolve right with them, whether that be the facility itself, the space itself, the subjects itself, so we have to be able to be adaptable and changeable. I think STEAM really represents where 
each of our businesses are going, having those strong technical skills, those mathematical skills, and the ability really to express oneself, which I love the inclusion of the arts within the STEAM project that you're working on. The students will try different things in the art subjects and not be frightened of getting it wrong because there isn't always a right or a wrong answer and you can try different things. If it, if it doesn't quite work, well, we'll try it again and, and they can be more creative and more imaginative and work with, with themselves, with other people and just expand their ideas. I was really lucky as a young girl that I had the opportunity to travel abroad and take a marine science class at the age of 13 and that really instilled in me this desire to ask questions and to explore nature in more depth and I think that's one of the most important steps to creating female scientists is giving them the encouragement and the background to know that they can pursue this as a career and they can be very successful, just as successful as their male counterparts. I enjoy math, accounts, and biology because they are challenging but they're also fun at the same time and I'm really a mathematically orientated person. My favorite subject is probably between math and chemistry because I really like how you can learn things in the classroom and it really relates to real life and it really can reflect the world around you and the rigor involved just really excites me and challenges me. I've just always loved IT and I like the idea of doing science. Right now we're dissecting a computer and we're learning about CPU and RAM and right now we're comparing the new um, Samsung phone to the new Apple phone. Well, one day here at BHS we had a speaker who was an environmental engineer and she said how she was going to become a chemical engineer first and when she was describing what a chem chemical engineer does I said well that sounds pretty interesting and considering I love chemistry so much I said well maybe I would love to get into a field like that. It would be really cool maybe to take control over a large telescope like Hubble or maybe an observatory and like aim it somewhere in the sky, conduct an experiment, contribute to science. When I studied physics, we were about 60% male, 40% female. It was clear then, as it is in any workplace, I think that the more diversity, the more different ideas and the better solutions we'll get, the faster we'll get to better solutions. Giving to the Leading the Way campaign at BHS is giving back to Bermuda. It's creating a legacy of pedagogy, of education, of really uh, you know, inspiring our youth and creating the next generation of big thinkers and uh, you know, people that will contribute back to our society at large. I can't think of a, a more meaningful way to give forward, to be honest with you, is to give back to education and give forward to education. And this Innovation Center is a huge leap forward, in my opinion. Whether you're a young alum, an older alum with daughters or granddaughters at the school, or even grandsons, um, you know, it, it's important to contribute in some fashion. And it can be small, it can be large, um, but it always makes uh, a difference in terms of what the school can do. I have a vested interest as an alumna. I want to give back to the school that gave to me. As an educator, I want to create and be part of an environment that is going to be here for generations to come. Each of us have a duty to look long term. You know, we want to make sure that the school is not only the best today, but best in future. I think it's very important to reinvest in our community. I look at it as those that gave before have provided the facilities for my girls to succeed with, and I look forward to investing into the STEAM program for the generations to come. Imagine a future where the sky is the limit, where women's ideas are creative and unending. Now that is a future worth investing in.
wanna stay in the sun where I find I know it's hard sometimes Pieces of peace in the sun's peace of mind I know it's hard sometimes Yeah, I think about the end just way too much But it's fun to fantasize All my enemies who wouldn't wish who I was But it's fun to fantasize I, oh, 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 I'm falling So I'm taking my time on my ride I'm on my ride. easy to say we have a list of people that we would take a bullet for them a bullet for you a bullet for everybody in this room but they don't seem to see many bullets coming through see many bullets coming through metaphorically i'm the man but literally i don't know what i do i'd live for you and that's hard to do even harder to say when you know it's not true even harder to write when you know that tonight there were people back home which are talking to you but then you ignore them still all these questions they're
fresh type of flow. Wrist icicle, ride by bicycle. Come true, yo. Get you this type of blow. If you wanna manage, I gotta try suck out. All these bitches, yo, this is my mini me. Maddie smoking, so they call me young Nicky Chimney. Rappers in they feelings, cause they feeling me. Give zero folk, then I got zero chilling me, kissing me. Cop the blue box that say Tiffany. Curry with the shot, just tell them to call me Stephanie. Gun pop, then I make my gun pop. I'm the queen of rap, young Ariana Run Pop. Uh. Friends keep talking way too much. Say I should give them up. Can't hear them, no, cause I. Take shape, but I wanna see the stars burn after I had my turn.
innovation, creativity, ingenuity, discovery, and passion are what we are fostering here at the Bermuda High School for Girls. And as head of school, I am so pleased and proud to welcome all of you today. Deputy Governor, Ms. Mrs. Alison Crockett, Minister of Education, Mr. Diallo Rabain, Minister of National Security, Mrs. Renee Ming. Thank you for attending this important event for BHS and for girls in Bermuda. To our board and our campaign volunteers, staff, students, parents, alumni, and most importantly, you the donors who made our vision a reality. We are delighted that you could join us today to celebrate this official opening of the Innovation Center and Arts Wing, both in person and on live stream. BHS celebrated its 125th birthday last year and has been a leader in education of girls and young women since 1894. We have always been known as a school that provides an excellent education and prepares students for whatever or wherever life, life takes them. We have a long, proud history of teaching students to be resilient, resourceful, and confident. And in fact, the Leadership Center inside is named after two such BHS alumni, Gladys Mizick Morrell and Doris Trot Butterfield, who led the suffragette movement and ultimately paved the way for women in Bermuda to gain the right to vote in 1944. Our main goal at BHS is not just to ensure students get into university, the university of their choice, which we do well, but to best prepare them for successful futures, no matter what they study at university or what careers they may pursue. Responding to an ever-changing world and the job market we knew that we needed to invest in innovation, develop our girls' skills in the STEAM subjects, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, and embed more inquiry-based learning and problem-solving into our teaching. So we started that process some seven years ago. We also knew that we needed to expand and modernize our campus and build new facilities to meet our students' growing needs. Just over five years ago, we asked for our first gift for the Leading the Way campaign, a million dollar request. And the donor said, absolutely. More than 300 other donors signaled their support of and confidence in BHS, which is why we are here today, to celebrate that amazing generosity which has put BHS in good stead for the next 125 years. We are standing today at the new heart and hub of the school, between the oldest building on campus from 1894 and the newest. BHS has a long history of excellence and traditions that have stood the test of time. The Innovation Center behind me ushers in a new way forward a new and exciting future for our students and for students all over Bermuda. I am now pleased to introduce our board chair, Ms. Mariette Savoie, who served an integral role in the vision and implementation of this essential center. Mariette, thank you for your outstanding leadership and partnership. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. It is indeed a very exciting moment in the life of BHS. More than five years ago already, we realized that we needed vastly different facilities to fulfill our mission. We committed then, as a board, to invest heavily in our campus, our program, and our technology. This has been one of our key strategic priority to ensure a successful future for BHS. Our job as a leading all-girls school is to empower each of our daughters 
to step confidently into the future by offering academic excellence enriched by innovation taught in a supportive community. What better way to meet this commitment than to offer our STEAM program in an exciting and state-of-the-art innovative center? This transformative space, together with our new art wings and theater, opens fresh possibilities and better learning opportunities for our students. Bermuda and the world need young women with the leadership skills necessary to lead our companies and nonprofit with more creativity, innovation, and out-of-the-box thinking. We strongly believed when we launched the campaign that we would get the support from all of you, parents, grandparents, alumni, community and industry leaders, and your response has been phenomenal. With your support, the milestone we have here to celebrate today is not just about this beautiful building behind me. It is about fulfilling our promise to the parents who choose to send their daughters to BHS, that they will be nurtured and supported, that they will be challenged and encouraged, and have the skill to succeed in this rapidly changing world. A school is not an island into itself. It is part of a community. From the beginning, our vision was that the space would be shared with young people around Bermuda. While this is not possible right now due to COVID-19, I look forward to the opportunities and partnerships between BHS and other private school and public school in Bermuda. I know that Linda and her team are actively looking now how to collaborate so we can get more teachers and more students to take advantage of the STEAM curriculum and these new facilities. I close by thanking Linda and her team and by thanking my colleagues on the board over the past five years for recognizing that this project was the next best step for BHS. I thank the board for their hard work and their financial support. And finally, I thank the um, Leading the Way Capital Campaign, uh, Pamela uh, Ferreira, for her tremendous support and energy, as well as the extraordinary team of campaign chairs and volunteers, most of them are here today. So Pamela, thank you so much for believing in the school vision and for your leadership throughout the campaign. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Mariette. To all of our 320 donors, some of whom are standing here today, and others who are watching us virtually from Ireland, Malta, Germany, Great Britain, Japan, Canada, Australia, Africa, the USA, and from Somerset to St. George's, Bermuda. I want to openly thank you for building the most magnificent center for learning in Bermuda. Your amazing gifts are a testament to your belief and your trust in this school. Each donor has left a legacy for the future education of our daughters. You have helped to empower our girls to allow their aspirations to become their possibilities. Technological advancements and scientific discoveries are responsible for our increased knowledge of the world we live in. But when linked with art, we can improve our understanding of each other. Science and art should never be separated in our minds 
because they are both tools that help us shape and understand the, so the society and the world in which we live. The entire community of the Bermuda High School for Girls and every single donor that gave their hard-earned money to build this magnificent building have all clearly understood that innovation in all forms, scientific and artistic, is the origin of progress. Through this innovation center, theater, arts, and arts wing, we have brought science, technology, and the arts closer to our young women who are our future scientists, they're our future artists, they're our inventors, and most of all, our future leaders. Your daughters and your students of this great school are the future generation of scientists who will be asked to research and create innovative solutions to problems in a rapidly changing world. To the nearly 600 students who are virtually listening to us today, you are so fortunate to be enrolled in the best school in the land for your education. It's my cheerleaders back there. You now have a job to do for us. And I ask each one of you to please take advantage of this creative environment every single time you walk through these doors. Listen, learn, challenge yourselves, and challenge your teachers. Explore all the possibilities for advancement and seek out the benefits of collaboration. And most of all, be entrepreneurial in your thinking and cherish every single one of the days that you are here. Today, I want to thank the amazing Leading the Way team of women and one man who worked so hard in raising the $12.2 million to build this building. I'd like to especially thank you, Jenny Lee O'Donnell, to Rachel Barrett, to Laura Cutler, to Mary Falkenberry, Julie Gunther, Lori Lewis, Linda Parker, and Mariette Savoie. And my sincerest thanks goes to you, Jennifer Berland Adams, for your brilliant management and guidance to get us here today to cut the ribbon. <clears throat> BHS is one of the most diverse schools on this island. It is proud of its heritage. It's rich in its culture and leading the way in education. Just look at our outstanding IB results just published two weeks ago. Today, as we cut the ribbon and open these doors, we have created a link between science and society and a space for all of us to enrich our common values. Thank you to every single donor for making this great day happen. And thank you to every member of our BHS family. Thank you. We almost need a drum roll. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to um, tell you a little story of what just happened last week. In the last week, each one of our students at BHS was sent a piece of ribbon, uh, leading the way ribbon. And they were asked to virtually join us today to cut the ribbon and open the Innovation Center. So at home, our students are doing this, hopefully. Uh, and I'd like to invite right now, it is my honor and my privilege to ask our two head girls, Miss Kayla Kurt and Miss Leonay Morton Richardson, to please come up here. And our headmistress or principal, Linda Parker, to come up as well. I'm going to give you your scissors, and I'm going to ask the audience um, and at home and around the world to please take out your scissors, take out your ribbon, and we're going to join me in the count. We'll do three, two, one, and then they'll cut. Okay, is everybody ready for this?
for saying that. I did. I mean, that's what you and I will catch up sharing. So, are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? On the count of three, we'll go one, two, three, and then they'll cut. All right? All right. One. Come on. Two. Three. Cut. <laughs> Cut there in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, I got gel scissors. <laughs> Did it cut? <laughs> oh no. Did it not cut? I didn't see it. Yay! <laughs> Thank you very much, and please come inside and uh, wander around. We'll be doing some tours if you would like a tour. Linda is going to take a group. I'll take a group. A number of us will be taking a groups around. So we're happy to show you the building. Uh, we're very, very proud of it. Thank you very much for being here today. We will start a tour of the uh, lower ground of the Innovation Center. We just ask that you keep your masks on, please. So if you just want to meet in the lobby here, we'll be doing a tour. Thank you. <laughs> 